right, in this audit session, we are actually making our own hand plane. Actually, it's a finger plane. Um, first thing you need to do is to lay it out so you know how to cut this stuff. Um, and marking metal is not always the easiest task in the world because it's hard, <laughs> basically. Um, brass is typically a softer one, but instead of trying to muscle your way and making marks with a scribe, let's say, because you can easily poke yourself and puncture wounds hurt a lot. I know. So, what I'm going to suggest that you do when you take this out to your shop is get a sharp, any color will do. We're using blue today. And then basically just fill in the area that you are going to uh, need to lay out your, your cut marks. Right there, I have a, an area where I'm going to be laying out the side of this, this plane. I have a marking gauge here that I'll run along the side to mark how, how deep I need to cut it. Just, oops. Run that like that, right there. And here, I have the length of what I'm going to be cutting. And then you can see here that when you do that, what you're doing is you're removing, let's see, you're removing the ink, and you can see the line right there. When you remove the ink, you can see the metal underneath. Let's see if I can get that up a little closer. So there. And basically you do it the same with all your markings. Go through and mark where you need to drill your holes. And it makes it easier to, to go ahead and punch where you need to punch gives you lines where you need to cut and basically it makes your life a lot easier. I highly recommend that you try making one of these finger planes and hopefully graduate up to maybe a, a, a hand plane. It, 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 it's a rewarding uh, project and they make great gifts.